Yeah, everything looks good here. Yeah. Oh, hey guys. How is everybody enjoying these awesome waves at the beach today? Please be safe. Watch how far you are out in the water. Don't want to get out past the buoys because, you know, the, the whole boat thing. Um, totally wasn't on my phone playing Candy Crush. Oh, anyway, speaking of boats, I just got news that Maya will be stopping by uh, the club here to see everybody. Uh, we're all excited. Uh, is that Captain Geach and the Shrimp Shark Shooter Specialists? I see pulling up. Let's go see what they're playing today. Woo! Yeah! Come on, put them together Oh my, oh my god! Oh my word! Oh my gosh! We are so 
so glad that you're better. safe and out of the hospital. Yeah. 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 You look great. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, you know, well, <laughs> I'm in a boot and my arm's injured, but it's okay. Everything still pretty hurts. We were all so worried about you, especially Bodie. I just couldn't stand seeing my little dude all hurt like that. Broke my heart, man. Yeah, that accident wasn't pretty. <laughs> but thankfully, the Lord protected me and is helping me heal quickly. I, I just can't believe someone could be that irresponsible. <sighs> oh my goodness, I can't believe I found you here. I heard you were gonna be on the dock. I just had to come say I'm sorry. I was being irresponsible with my friends, wanted to show them how fast my boat would go, and you know, one thing, one thing happened. It's all right. I forgive you. I I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, don't worry about those medical bills. I'll get them all sorted out. Um, thank you for being so kind to me. Um, it was it was my fault. I'll never be that irresponsible. It's okay. That's really not necessary. I, I insist. It's the least I can do. Wow, Maya, that took a lot of courage to forgive him like that. Yeah, little dude. Be so proud of you. <laughs> Your arm is injured. It still is injured. It still I'm is injured. <laughs> but it really wasn't that big of a deal. I was just showing the captain love. I don't understand. You just let him off the hook like that, and you just forgave him. How could you do that? I could never do that. Well, while it wasn't easy, I knew I needed to forgive the captain and show him love like Jesus forgave us and shows us love. We're all sinners and we all do bad things every day. But Jesus gives us the ultimate amount of love and gave his own life in order to save us. You know, John, one of Jesus' disciples, wrote a letter in the early Christian to the early Christians about showing love. I think I have a video about it on my phone. Yeah. Here, ready? Let's watch, Let's watch it. it. Jesus' disciple, John, wrote a letter to Christians. Little children, he wrote, because all Christians are children of God. I am writing to you so you will not sin. But if you do sin, Jesus speaks to the Father for us. Jesus died to take the punishment for our sins. John said that when we are a part of God's family and truly know God, we keep God's commands. Being a child of God is like living in light instead of in darkness. John wrote, if someone says he is in the light, but hates his brother or sister, he is in the darkness. If someone loves his brother or sister, he is in the light. John also wrote, see how much the Father loves us. He calls us his own children, and that is what we are. We are children of God. John said that people who are God's children live differently than people who are not God's children. Believers do what is right, and they love one another. This was not a new message. Jesus told us to love one another too. John wrote that others will know we are Christians because we show love to one another. We know what love is because Jesus showed us. He laid down his life for us. Because of Jesus' power, we can and should love like that too. When we have something that our brother needs, we should give it to him. If someone has enough to help but turns away and does nothing, does that person really know God's love? John said that we must not just talk about loving others. We must love them by our actions and by telling them the truth. Little children, he said, let us not just say that we love others. Let's show our love by what we do. John wrote a letter to teach believers in the church, the children of God, 
about the importance of showing love. Love is more than feelings or words. It is an action. Jesus showed God's love for us when he died on the cross to rescue people from sin. Well, you see, God loves us so much that he sent his only son to die for us on a cross. We are the reason for his death, yet he still loves us unconditionally. In the Bible, the first book of John teaches us that just like Jesus loved us, we must also love others. That is why it was so important for me to forgive the captain and show him love. Wow, I guess I never really thought of God's love like that before. Jesus died on the cross for me? Yes, Sage. Then to, all that he asked in return is that we believe in him and, and ask him to rescue us from our sins. How do I do that? You simply pray and ask. Tell him you believe in him and want him to come live inside of your heart. Are you sure you're ready for this? I'm sure. I know that Jesus is real and I want him to show me love and how I can love others just like he loved me. All right, well, we'll be right here if you need us. Jesus, I know that you're real. I know that you died on the cross to rescue me from my sin. Lord, I know that you showed us the ultimate unconditional love that day, and I want to show that same love to others. Please come and live inside of my heart. I can be a beacon of light to others. I love you so much. Thank you for rescuing me. In your name, I pray. I'm so proud of you, Sage. <laughs> hey, I know Ripley had mentioned that earlier she wanted to grow closer to God too. And now that you're on the same journey, I have a great idea. Why don't we all say God's word together? Yeah, dude, that's, yes. that would be way cool. <laughs> come here, come here. Oh, Your I'm arm so is sorry. injured. Yeah. You're so right. Oh, here we go, oh, come man. here. Me. Isn't that just so sweet? <laughs> it's always a happy day when someone accepts Jesus' love. If what Sage did is something you also feel you need to do, please go talk to either your parents or a leader, and they can help you know how to ask Jesus to live inside your heart as well. Well, folks, that's all we have today, but don't forget to come back next week. We're supposed to have some gnarly waves. Get out of here, crazy kids. Oh, man.